Hi everyone, um, so it is World Mental Health Day and I just wanted to share my kind of three top tips um, for what I do when I'm having a bout of anxiety or anger or sadness um, and then also one of my favourite breathing techniques. Um, so tip number one is reminding yourself and knowing that it is always okay if you are not okay. You do not have to be okay all the time. Allow yourself space to feel sad, to feel anxious, to feel angry, whatever it may be, know that you don't have to explain away your emotions. Um, top tip number two um, is get outside get out in nature. It's such a simple thing to do, but just by literally grounding ourselves in nature, having a change of scenery, getting some fresh air, we generally tend to breathe deeper, which calms our nervous system. Um, it's just such an easy one just to clear your head, take yourself out of kind of all the rush and the stimulation that we're surrounded by. And um, yeah, get ourselves, get ourselves calm. And then finally, top tip number three is breathe deeply. Most of us, don't breathe properly. <laughs> Most of us only breathe into the top part of our chest and especially when we're angry, anxious or sad, we will breathe really shallow and that again makes us far more in our fight or flight mode which means that we're more likely to stay in that kind of state of like um, for longer. So breathe really deeply, try to breathe right down into your belly, into your ribs, into your chest and um, just notice yourself just slowly calm down. On that note, I am therefore going to share with you my personal favourite breathing technique to do whenever particularly I feel anxious um, or kind of frustrated. So it's called the feather breath. It's really, really simple. All you need is to be sat up straight with a lovely straight spine and to close your eyes. So we're just literally going to close down our eyes and just start to breathe through the nose. And as you breathe, just breathe, as we said, into that belly, into the ribs, into the chest. Use that full capacity of the lungs. And don't worry if the breath does feel a little bit restricted. That's fine, we're just going to make it longer and longer every breath we take. And then we're just going to start to visualise or imagine a feather floating in front of our face. And that feather can be any size, any shape or any colour. And as you inhale through your nose, watch that feather draw in towards you. And then gently exhale through your mouth. Imagine you're blowing that feather away. Just keep that going. Inhaling through the nose, feather draws in. Exhaling through the mouth, blowing that feather away. Keep that going, inhaling. Exhaling. Keep expanding through the belly as you inhale. Keep feeling that release as you exhale. And as you inhale and watch that feather draw in towards you, imagine you're just breathing in life, energy, joy. And as you exhale gently through the mouth, just blow away any limiting beliefs, any anxiety, fear, anger, sadness. Just watch it blow away with that feather.
going to take a last inhale and exhale and on your next exhale just watch that feather drift away right away into the distance carrying with it anything you no longer wish to hold on to and just bring your breath back to the nose And just very gently and slowly just start to blink open the eyes so there we go guys really simple really effective you can literally do it wherever you are on a bus at home in bed whatever it may be but hopefully you feel a little bit calmer but remember it's okay to not be okay try to keep away from phones if you're feeling a bit crappy in your mental health <laughs> and get outside and breathe um, and move you know get whatever you need to do but yeah top tips from me know it's okay move get outside and breathe have a really wonderful day guys